Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Mulahe. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. If you tuned in last week, you know we spent three incredible days aboard the Delirio here in Bahia Concepcion, Baja California Sur. As sad as we are for the experience to end, the adventure continues <laughs> today as we explore more of the beaches and head 20 kilometers north to the town of Mulehe. But before we jump in, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. All right, let's go put our stuff in the dinghy and head to land. All right, it's about two hours later. We were dropping the boat off and she was like, you must come inside for a belly full of beans before you go. And they were so good. And then we had, of course, another wonderful conversation. She is, she's seriously the yeah. sweetest lady we I think I've already, ever met. Sylvia. We do miss you so much. <laughs> and thank you again for sharing your wonderful home with us and your boat. Yes, all right. Well, now let's get in the car. We're gonna head south to Playa Requeson. So come along. Wow, as you can see, this place is really something special out here. It looks like there's a tidal sand spit. So at low tide, you can walk all the way across it. Right now, the water is a little bit high, so we can't do that. There's some other RVers here. It looks like some have stayed for a while. They even have some palapas out here for you as well. The camping is rustic. Looks like they have some outhouses here. But yeah, just a really nice little bit of wind. You can see that breeze. Seems like another nice beach to come down to and spend some time. And I noticed when we pull into these beaches, there's always an attendant there. So we told him that we were just gonna look around and he said, okay, that was fine for five to 10 minutes. So I'm not sure, I know you have to pay, but I don't know if you pay by the day and then it's different from like a nightly stay. So when you come, you're gonna have to ask and see what that is, but I can't imagine it's more than like 200 pesos, like $10 a night. I think one of the things I like most about the Baja Peninsula is it's really a place to come to get away from it all. So let's go see if we can find another beach to do just that. The next beach over is Playa Buenaventura. And let me say, it's a little fancy. They got a restaurant here and we heard that they have- Taco Tuesdays, baby. <laughs> and it gets a little wild. They also have hot showers, flush toilets, which is like a luxury. Mm -hmm. And they offer house rentals, campsites, RV spots. And they have this awesome bus right yeah. here that's been hand painted. There's a whale shark on one side and a fish right down on the ocean. I love it. Yeah, so this is another cool spot to pop in, maybe stay or just get some lunch. All right, who's ready for stop number three? Oh, me, me, me. <laughs> Let's do it. Welcome to Playa Coyote. We came around here in the dinghy yesterday and these waters were just like emerald. Same color today, absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Down at the end, there's a private community. If you continue down the beach to where we are right now, there's some palapas and camping. And if you go all the way down to the end of the bay, you'll run into some RV and more palapas. It just seems like a great place to come and kind of get away from it all and just relax. I've also heard this is a popular spot for dolphins and whale sharks in this bay. And if you get an aerial view of this mountain right here above Playa Burro, where we stayed, it actually looks like a donkey. Some people say it looks like a whale tail, but I'm not buying no, it. It's, it's definitely a donkey. So it makes sense why it's named Playa Burro. Very cool. <laughs> Amazing. And actually, I just saw something over here that looks very interesting. Let's check it out together. Oh, wow. Heidi did find something really cool, kind of like in the middle of the beach between the campgrounds there's this little cave and rock structure that someone took the time to cover in thousands of these little shells here. They made all kinds of little designs and figures on it. I'm really digging it. I think that one of the cool things when you're down here on the Baja is getting back to nature if you want to. So you can come down here and sit, listen to the waves, look at this blue water and just collect some shells and create something. I think that maybe we forget about that when we're in you know, everyday life, we forget to create and it just makes you feel so good. And this makes me feel good. Just down the road from Playa Boro, there is a turnoff with an amazing view of the bay, as well as this altar here that is dedicated to the Virgin de Guadalupe. She is the protector of the bay and the people that drive along it, like the truck drivers, us, the boaters, the fishermen. So you will see people frequently stopping here to get a view and to offer their thanks to her. Muchas gracias. And can I just say one of the best parts of this entire adventure is the driving. Being able to see this from that view 
view from the car, that perspective. And it's so nice to be able to like pull over whenever you want to. Yeah. And just stop and really take it in. Yeah, so we definitely recommend renting a car if you can. The bus does come through here, but having that freedom of having your own wheels just makes it that much better, I think. It does. We have made it here to our last beach we're showing you. This is Playa Santispac. I believe it's the last one on the way up to Mulehe that you will see in the bay here. On the way in, we passed Playa Los Cocos, which is this white sand beach and had a mangrove estuary as well as Posada Concepcion. Yeah, it looked kind of like its own town. It's a private community and it looked really nice. Yeah, so we are here at Armando's. We are going to head in and get some lunch, so come Ooh, with us. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Our food has arrived. I got the scallop tacos as well as the shrimp tacos. I don't know what Heidi's gonna eat, but no, I'm just kidding. Heidi got the shrimp tacos and they look phenomenal. Look I mean, huge shrimp. And I went with the scallop tacos and they are really delicious looking. Those look better than mine from the last video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that they can sear them better than I can. But they'll never be as cute as when you're cooking them. <laughs> Those tacos were fantastic. If you ever find yourself in the area, definitely come to Armando's. The, the scallop was good, but the shrimp blew yeah. my mind. Took the cake. And we were just talking about this beach here. There are so many big rigs. There's even like a semi truck. I think that this <laughs> is probably the most popular one that we've seen mm -hmm. along the way that offers places for RVs and camping because... It's the first one from the north. That's true. And it's really long. Yeah. So. And there's a couple of restaurants on it. So that's a nice draw here too. And even though it was so windy today, in here, because it's such a large bay, the water is completely flat. Like you can see the white caps out deeper, but man, this is like paradise. Yeah, well, we are gonna jump back in the car and then head up to Mulehe. So come along. And just a precautionary note, big semi trucks drive this road frequently and they go quite fast as well as the bus. So just beware about that. Don't you know take your eyes off the road it is very beautiful it's hard not to want to always keep looking at all the sites but you really got to pay attention there are also a lot of pull-offs so you do yeah. have the opportunity to stop and take it in yeah definitely we just want you to be safe we care about you we have arrived to the place we are staying here in Mulehe, so let's go check it out together welcome to the andy park baby this place looks super sweet. You know, we couldn't come to the Baja Peninsula and not camp. I mean, the slogan here at Indy Park is live the experience of camping in style. And that's exactly what we're doing. On site, there are seven different, very unique accommodations, everything from an A-frame and then over here, what looks like a cabin and these campers, we're staying here in number four. It's equipped with a double bed, a single bed, air conditioning, and it comes with towels and soap. Behind me here is an on-site restaurant which I know we will be going to later mm -hmm. <laughs> looks delicious and then on the other side in the middle this is where you're gonna find the shared bathrooms and showers as well as the kitchen slash living room area so if you want you can bring your food and cook here I think we're just gonna end up chilling for the rest of the evening maybe play some cards and we'll see you bright and early in the morning to explore Mulehe together see you then Good morning, I'll be honest. It's been really tough getting out of this bed. It is so comfortable. Slept so well. Last night I went next door to the little restaurant and got some food mm -hmm. that was absolutely delicious, especially the fish tacos. <laughs> we just packed up the car, so we are gonna head out and head to town, so come along. Can we take the bed with us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it'll fit in the trunk. <laughs> as you're coming into town, you are going to see the colorful Mulahe letters, which as you know, is a great place to snap a photo. Something you might be confused about is this H at the front. The official name is Eroica Mulehe because back in 1847 there was the Battle of Mulehe here where the Americans tried to come in and occupy but were defeated by the local people who lived here. So that's why a little history lesson for you this morning. Just next to the sign is a dirt road that goes down under the bridge that goes into town and up to Mission Santa Rosalia. Let's go check it out. Wait for me! <laughs> The drive up here was beautiful on the dirt road along the river and then coming up around the bend and seeing the mission in that morning light. This Jesuit mission was established in 1705, but this temple wasn't constructed until 1754. It's just very simple, but beautiful on the inside and out. It sits atop this rocky hill that overlooks the town and the oasis below. So let's go up to the viewpoint to get a better look. Oh my gosh, and can I just point out all of these birds here it's crazy 
crazy. It looks so cool. As we were walking to the viewpoint past the building, this lady was like, come in, come in. So we went inside and she pointed upstairs. We went up these very narrow steps with a dirt floor underneath it. And we popped out right here at this gorgeous bell tower. I love coming into historical buildings like this and picturing the people that walked here before us for hundreds of years. Right now we're gonna head over here to the viewpoint and really check out that oasis. Come with us. Wow, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Now this is the view that I've been waiting for. It's the picture you see when you're doing your research of Mulahe. This town sits at the mouth of a river which creates this rare desert oasis. The date palms just go on for days. It looks like they go all the way to the mountains. The sky is so blue with these white clouds going up. There are birds swirling above us. It's just such a special sight. And while we're up here enjoying this incredible view, we would love to give a shout out to our new patrons. Andy and Claire. Thank you so, so much. We hope you know how much we appreciate you. I, I feel like I feel it even more right now mm -hmm. as we're traveling around such a beautiful area because knowing that you're at home watching with us just makes it that much more special for us. It certainly does. So thanks for all of your support. And if you would like to join our Patreon community, we will put a link in the description below. Well, there are a couple more things we would like to check out in town. So let's go do that. We just came into town and we are now heading to the museum here, Museo Mulehe. It is right in front of us. It kind of looks like a little castle. I feel like I'm doing a little off-roading. Yeah, too. we are. These roads are all dirt. They are quite bumpy, but the town looked super cute. Welcome to Mulehe's museum, but I'll tell you, this isn't your typical museum. That is for sure. It's actually situated inside the first open door prison in all of Baja, California. Oh open door prison, what does that even mean? It means that from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, the less dangerous prisoners were allowed to actually leave the prison and go out, work, spend time with their families, do whatever, but they had to be back by six o'clock. And how did they get called back? We actually saw the conch shell mm -hmm. they used, but one of the guards or the warden would go out front and do the <laughs> and the prisoners knew they had to get their butts back in here or they were gonna be in big trouble. I've never heard of anything like that. No, me neither. But this prison was occupied by both men and women, which is pretty unique. And the most dangerous ones, Muy Peligroso, they actually stayed in here. There's this center area here that is blocked off to the rest of the prison and they weren't able to leave and go work. Seems like they're doing some work right now, kind of renovating it. Some of the rooms are filled with, you know, historical objects. We learned about the mission, a bit more of the mission, and also the indigenous tribe that called this place home. Yeah, I mean, the cell are tiny they even had a place where it showed like the prisoners would sleep on the floor until they could have a mat made for them so that they wouldn't have to be just on the concrete or the brick I guess whatever was down there and then we also saw some bones like some whale vertebrae dolphin spine mm -hmm. right and a dolphin head some so... baleen from a whale yes yeah, so... it's, it's like an eclectic mix yeah. of things in here they had some um, arrowheads and some stone art from like the caves and stuff what are those mm -hmm. petroglyphs yeah yeah it's a unique stop and it's free Free, which is great as well. I think you can give some donations, which we're gonna do on yeah. the way and out. And the lady was super helpful yeah. when we came in. She told us everything we needed to know mm -hmm. and kind of like walked us through the whole prison. Yeah, so it's a great stop when you come here. Well, we are gonna get back in the car and head to the lighthouse. Oh. Come along. And the drive out to the lighthouse is on the north side of the river now. So we're able to see the town from another perspective, which is cool. All the homes along it and the palm trees. It's so pretty, like mm -hmm. I can see the ocean right up here. I'm loving this. There's pelicans diving in the water. You can hear the birds just chirp, chirp, chirping. So what a beautiful paradise it is here. We really hope you can make it here and see it for yourself. We are getting close to that lighthouse, but I'm seeing some big gates closed. I don't know if we can actually climb up to it anymore. So yes, unfortunately, it looks like you can't go up to it. I don't even know if you ever could. Yeah, but I mean, there's, <laughs> there's steps. steps. Who knows? So maybe, but it's still nice coming here. You can see we're under a palapa and that breeze from the sea. Glorious. Takes the cake. It sure does. And don't forget, you have two more weeks to enter our contest for a free night stay on that sailboat in Bahia Concepcion. The last day to enter mm -hmm. is on 
Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Remember, yes. you need to put a, you need to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment that says Sylvia, Sylvia and, and Carl, Carl rock. rock. <laughs> good luck, everybody. Yes, good luck. But thanks again for joining us here. We're so happy you came along. It would have been nowhere near as much fun if you hadn't been here to share it with. And don't worry, we are continuing this, but we are gonna fly from Loreto to Tijuana, so we don't have to take that long 17-hour bus baby. ride. And then we're gonna explore some more up in that area. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ding ling 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 the bell. We'll see you next time. Adios.